We're ready for 141 pounds. Have been since the last time they met. Nick Lee from Evansville, Indiana, Penn State. Mitney Lyons going up against Luke Fletcher from Latrobe, Pennsylvania. Wrestling for the Ohio State University. The last time they met, Luke Fletcher came out as number one. Nick Lee left the match as number one. Really looking forward to this matchup because, you know, in that match last, uh, the, the dual meet that they had, it looked like Fletcher got out there, got the first takedown, and then Lee kind of took the match over and was really dominant in the top position, collected a couple takedowns himself. Really a dominant performance, and he was clearly the number one wrestler after that. But Fletcher's been one of those guys all throughout his career that he's made the adjustments. He's done better at the, at the end of the season. Nick Lee, the skill set that he possesses, you know, to be able to take a guy down, ride a guy, turn a guy. Well, let's take a look at what you're talking about when they met earlier this year. Yeah, to take a look at uh, the effort in the flashback here of this match, okay? Roll throughs. It would seem like Lee anticipated everything about after about the third minute of the match. And Fletcher, for whatever reason, we know the type of condition that he's in. Lee with a solid win. And Nick Lee came from the number one seat. Came through Chad Red. It's good, close match, seven to five. Luke Fletcher comes from the number two. Really hammered Mitch McKee with a major decision. And here they go. Number one and number two again, just like in the dual mate, but switched around. Who will come out for number one? Because the winner will going into the NCAA championship. And Nick Lee probably had a little bit tougher battle with Chad Red than what Fletcher did getting uh, through. But you know, now we're at the finals. And high expectations for both these fellas, and uh, one of the big matchups I've been looking forward to the whole weekend. Another one versus two. Here comes Nick Lee, coached by Cale Sanderson in his 11th year at Penn State. Team Fletcher had a 60 meet streak stop this year at Arizona State in November, but. Nick Lee has not been beaten at all. Luke We're Fletcher going. is only lost to this man right here. Nick Lee. Hey, here we go. Nick Good Lee, luck, gentlemen. Yeah. Like I said, out of Evansville, Indiana, he won a state championship at Mater Day High School as a junior, but then he was homeschooled as a senior to concentrate on freestyle. He won a junior freestyle national championship. A two-time All-American, Nick Lee, for the Nittany Lion, fifth as a freshman and fifth as a sophomore. And Tim, I think he's the best in the country, one of the best in the country at being able to get takedowns and go really get into turns and tilts. Now he's in on another shot. No control, right there, you see the flexibility of Pletcher, but able to work that limp arm out right there at the edge of the mat. And they're going to go off. Action. No points. Neutral. Pletcher escaped a danger position. But what he's been, what he's been able to do this year to show his dominance is, is very quickly after the takedown, he's getting points. They both like to attack each other's right leg. Nice little spin around effort right there. See that attack on the opposite side leg right there. Can Fletcher score with this? You see the hand control that Lee's tried to implement. Can dumps him down, but now collects the points off down. the spin. He has such a great job of running the pipe and setting him down, just like you said, Jim. Yeah, it's one of those situations where he's able to anticipate the spin of Lee and go right back into collecting both, both feet. And sometimes when they hit that spin, if they don't get enough elevation, they really put both legs together and it's easier to collect them. This is where we were the last time they met in the duel, mate. Fletcher jumping out in front, and then the Lee train started coming down the tracks. Fletcher, a three-time Pennsylvania state champion from La Probe, Pennsylvania. He's one of the captains on the nice team. And Lee in on the leg. When you can get in on the leg that clean and not drop your knee on a guy that's as solid as Fletcher, then anticipate that roll through like Lee did right there. He broke the two points. Good wrestling, good finishes by both guys. What an answer by Nick Lee. The junior going up against the red shirt or the, the senior, neither of these guys ever redshirted. Luke Fletcher wrestled as a true freshman at 141, then he went down to 133, his better weight, as a two-time All-American. There's Tom Ryan, and a look at Cody Sanderson on the right there, the brother of Kale Sanderson, and Casey Cunningham, two top assistants 
of Kale Sanderson. Good, good job of Fletcher getting to his feet, but just at the last second, Lee is able to go ahead and hang on. And they, you know what? We have five, six seconds off the clock right there, but those are important restart situations where Lee wants to stay in control in this match. When he was able to go ahead and ride Fletcher, that really made the difference in the match and really made his physical presence felt. And really, I think he can wear on his opponents as good as anybody in the country. Good hand control, stops it. Notice how he's front tripping every step, uh, step trying to step in front of uh, Fletcher's lead legs. Ohio State corner, Tom Ryan in his 14th year. What an outstanding job. Big Ten Coach of the Year three times, National Coach of the Year twice. One. And neutral. His man Fletcher gets out. 4 1. It's all tied up 3 to 3. 35 seconds left in the first period. The action that we thought we were going to see, Jim. Yeah, I knew that the type of competitor that Fletcher was, that he was going to be able to be held down very long. Three good starts right there. Lee made him work. Let's see if that type of action pays off later in the match. But. I think what Lee does was he was able to get in on the leg, had a little head shock action right there, and was able to pick the pick the knee of Lee. Excuse me, pick the knee of Pletcher, trying to do it one more time. Short time. You know, for a, a taller man to be able to get on the leg like this, just beautiful. Here's the finish. Now he just sits back, anticipates that roll through by sprawling his own legs back and collects the far ankle. There's Chris and Laura Lee, Evansville, Indiana, but all their boys are in State College. Young, uh, Nick's younger brother, Joe, is a teammate at Penn State. Neutral. And Matt spending his gap year after high Center. school in State College, all living together, supporting each other. It's a family affair for the Lees. Nice shot, low shot there. Lee responds exceedingly well. Again, you see him uh, duck and drop his level right there, but he's able to stay on his feet when he does that, not dropping to a knee. So well timed. Now he's changing the other direction here, almost collects the ankle. What Pletcher's done is he's shown that this is the right weight class for him, Jim. They were wondering, can he come up from 133? He uh, wrestled at this weight approximately at the U23s. Found himself second to Ironman for the world team, and he has certainly established himself it's the right weight for him this year. Well, he's really having to deal with the assault that the Lee has, the head movement, the, the, uh, the, the snap downs, and to be able to kind of shuck sideways and get to a leg and get to a low ankle. Lee has tremendous reach as well. Tremendous, he knows how to use it. Another shot right there. And the, uh, Angel Barrett calls a stall warning on Lee. That's, Big Penn State contingent here. Not necessarily happy with that. Yeah, and that's by um, rule book uh, that he went out, backed off, and it was an interpretation. Got to call one of three things, either continued action, stalling for pushing out, or for stalling for backing out. It's got to be one of three every time they go out of bounds. He calls stalling. Red, it's the first red, one. Now red. a stall call on Pletcher. Both wrestlers have stall calls. Yeah, and I think that's the call that most people saw probably in the crowd is that he attempted you know, head fakes, the head slaps, the, the shucks, and get, dropping in on the leg, going both directions, and uh, Lee was just rewarded with that stall warning. Both these guys are going pretty hard, but it's a situation where there's no, you know, no points Center. issued here. These guys, this ain't gonna be decided by a stall warning. You just mentioned one thing about these two. Pace has always been uh, one, their friend, and you never have to worry about shape for either of these guys. Here's the action that you're talking about, Tim, on the stall call here. Push directly straight out. Yeah, you see that action there. Look, yeah, coaches weren't happy with that. And the parents uh, weren't happy either. <laughs> I don't blame them. I mean, from a standpoint of being parents, you're never happy when you know, something goes against your... Uh, your I just don't think that'll have much play in the match. These guys like to get after. They're looking for offense, and right now, you know, Pletcher's the guy that, that really has to step up and get to a leg and get to a shot. That's what his game is. Neither of these wrestlers make a lot of mistakes, and they punish you if you make a mistake. Both guys working heavy on the head, right? 
This is more of a, of a pleasure situation here where he gets a little bit tighter in closer, where he can go ahead and get a little bit more penetration step. Lee working out in distance, I think that favors him. So Working notice how he's snapping. He's not going ear to ear with his opponent. Now straight on double, drops back in. Boy, this footwork of, of Pletcher has been fantastic. He stepped out of several low shots. And that was a deep double he had, and he had a wall with Lee. Yeah. And both of these guys are like walls from a standpoint of being attacked on. Heavy possession now. This is what things Pletcher's really good at. Brought his hips to the party on that double leg. The takedown and the escape. Now, Pletcher out in front, six to five. No riding time advantage. Still too early to shut it down with 39 seconds left here for Pletcher. You got it, Lee, who now has to come into the action. He has to go ahead and force his ties. And now Pletcher working for a little more space. Really hanging heavy on that head. Got drops attack. back in, yeah, drops back in on the shot. Is he got his shoulder too far to the outside? Oh, no. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Oh. Neutral. Hey, back up, coaches. Hey. Pop on, on the knee. Okay, let's go. He let's says, go. I'm all right. We go back to the center. Let's go, let's go, let's and here go. they come. 13 seconds left. Pletcher cannot be hit for stalling. He's got to move forward. He's got a stall warning. It would tie it up if he is called for stalling. Pletcher's got the lead. He's trying to hold on for a Big Ten championship. Boy, what a response by Luke Pletcher. Luke Pletcher comes back from the defeat in the dual meet. Starts with a takedown, finishes the job this time. Tom Ryan, happy with his senior captain, black shirt. We'll talk about that later. He's just an all-around top wrestler and a Big Ten champion now, Luke Pletcher. We'll take a look at that winning takedown. He drops his level here answers brings his hips up in onto the lift here sags back down to the lower part of the legs finishes the takedown wow tom ryan another big 10 champion for ohio state let's go to shane with luke all right luke that match the battle as we would expect what were some of the key adjustments you made against lee in comparison to that dual meet uh staying staying in my position Keep attacking where I want to be and don't let him dictate the pace. You've recently spoke about your development mentally, not always having that self-belief. How have you been able to get to where you are now? Uh, a lot of work. A lot of work. That's all I can say. A lot of work. NCAA championships less than a couple of weeks away. You've been an All-American a couple of times. What gives you reason for optimism? Your final ride. The work. Just like I just said, I work as hard as I possibly can every day uh, to make sure that I'm Ready to rip, and uh, I'm feeling good. Luke Pletcher, Big Ten champion for Ohio State at 141.